are not as equal as Americans think. Resolved, state colleges and university tuition should be paid for by the states to benefit society as a whole. First off, we are in a load of student debt right now. This plan would help decrease the amount of student debt we have. Second, this would increase government accountability in colleges. This plan would let government pay for things, taking away things like financial aid and loans and instead putting it into paying for college for everyone. And third, this would give underprivileged individuals a chance to get a better education. This plan would decrease debt, increase accountability, and give students an equal chance. times that I just went without. I was not eating every day. You may think that this was spoken by someone living on the streets, but this is a quote from Kelsey Brewer, a college graduate. Kelsey tried so hard to stay on top of her finances. She worked two jobs. She took out multiple loans and even filled out the free application for federal student aid, but still couldn't even get the money that she needed to eat daily. This outlines a problem that is all too common in the U.S., financial troubles among college students. But there is a solution. Pushing the cost of college tuition to the states will help the student debt crisis. Over the past decade, we have seen a 21% rise in college tuition rates. And in 2015, the total amount of student loan debt was up to $1.3 trillion. Imagine all that money, $1.3 trillion in single dollar bills placed end to end, that would stretch to the moon and back 263 times. And alongside this pit of debt, employment rates for high paying jobs are dropping and millions are losing their jobs. <coughs> Providing free college gives more people a chance to get a higher education and that, makes more, and that makes smarter workers. And with smarter workers, the rate of employment will rise and that reduces the amount of money that the government needs to spend on financial aid. U.S. Senator Barbara Mikuski said, college is part of the American dream. It shouldn't be part of a financial nightmare for families. Colleges have relatively little oversight to ensure accountability. Governments should play a bigger role in funding for state colleges and universities, thereby reducing the unnecessary expenses currently made. According to an article by The Atlantic, yearly, the government spends over $80 billion on financial aid and subsidizing higher education. But this only assists 38% of American individuals. And even then, these individuals <coughs> still need to take out loans in, or even end up in debt. On the other hand, only a mere $60 billion are needed for the federal government to make tuition at public institutions, which educate about 76% of undergraduates, completely free. In other words, currently the government is spending a huge amount of money to benefit only a small percentage of people, whereas free tuition provides education for more with less funding. The government would not be wasting their money, but spending it on our future and for a better life for many more. Author Joshua Davis tells the story of four high school students who built a robot that beat MIT in an underwater robotics competition. These sound like the perfect students, the perfect candidates to go to college, don't they? However, none of them had the money for tuition and none of them receive federal aid. One of them is currently working at Home Depot, trying to feed his interest in robotics and engineering at home. Where was federal aid to help them then? Removing tuition gives underprivileged individuals such as these a chance to continue their education. The probability of low-income students attending college goes <coughs> up by 50% when tuition is free. In 2010, the poverty rate rose to 15.1% the highest since 1993. This comes at the same time as an exponential rise in the cost of college. Success in our modern world is increasingly dependent on a degree in higher education. If the government doesn't provide the ability to get a degree to everyone, where will society be?
having in-state college and having free having free in-state <laughs> having free in-state colleges can lead to negative outcome in society. Going to college can be a burden or a positive outcome on you. You may think that it would be better to have a free college if you live in the state. People will try to hard for scholarships. There would there will be an increase in tuition if they if you go and if you go to an out of state college since everyone will go to college there will not be enough jobs. Uh, people won't try hard to get scholarship if scholarships if it's just free. There are athletes and scholars that try very hard just to get into college and they deserve it. They t deserve to get a scholarship to go. They don't just assume that they can get free colleges. And fortunately, more than 10,000 athletic scholarships are available each year. And that's just some states. There's more, like, there's more people getting scholarships in the United States than ever. And it's helping people out. Through the rankings of 1,400 schools in the databases, there's 1,400 colleges in the United States. If you can't get a scholarship one of those places, then you're not trying hard enough. Increase in out-of-state tuition. If you want to get away from your parents or even just a different school to get a better education, you would have to pay for it. If you live in the state, you already get money off. If someone were to go to out of, go out of state, go to go. price would be higher rather than going to in state college. Stop giving college tuitions college tuitions to illegal immigrants. If you waste money on illegal immigrants, because the the less the less for the people who already deserve it. The jobs people may have are yearning to ha or ye are yearning to have could be taken away for a pointless reason, like not having any college experience. People work very hard to get the jobs that they have. If everyone is able to go to college for free, then everyone will be fighting for the same jobs, and there will be no, there will be more people with no jobs and no one doing the little jobs. People who graduate college have higher employment rates, larger salaries, and work, work more benefits than high school graduates. People who graduate college may have more <coughs> opportunities in the future. While young adults are in college, a skill they develop is developing mature interpersonal relationships. In college, some young adults may develop certain skills that people who do not have any college experience may never gain or experience. On average, a college student with a bachelor's degree earns $30,000 more per year than a high school graduate. That's $500,000 a lifetime. Graduating college could help a person later in the years when it comes to financial experiences, like getting a well-paid job rather than a person who hasn't graduated college.
people won't try for scholarships. I would like to point out that people still have to try for admissions and acceptance. College isn't a shoe in You don't get to go wherever you want just because you apply. You still have to work hard to get your GPA up, get your ACT scores up. You have to work hard for all of that just to get into college. So that scholarships aren't the only thing you have to work hard for. Also, they said that we would that paying for illegal immigrants would be costly. There could be a background on all students, which is what they do anyway. And also, with more people going into colleges, there will be more money, more jobs coming into the U.S. We're, our economy will grow, and that will help the government pay. We'll bring more taxpayers into the U.S., making a more efficient system. Also, with more people with higher education, there are more people to solve very important issues, such as global warming, cancer. If we bring more of those education and new ideas in, it will help us solve the, our nation's problems. we need those jobs to help us run our government and not go into a debt. It would create a debt because we wouldn't have, all the smart people might be working at McDonald's. They wouldn't be working at smart places and scientists and things like that. But everybody would be smart. So it would create a debt because nobody would want to do the little jobs and people would be more out of jobs. And also, not getting federal aid, when you have to try to get federal aid, like, they research people that they give it to, and they know who they're giving it to. They aren't just giving it to random people. State colleges and universities should be paid for by the state to benefit society as a whole. We've already shown that the current student debt crisis would be resolved. Schools would be spending money more efficiently and this would lead to helping more people. And low-income students get an equal chance at the American dream. In fact, at select colleges, it's already being done. Nelson Mandela once said, that education is the most powerful tool you can use to change the world. Now, let's give a chance for everyone to change the world. Thank you. We have showed that having in-state free colleges can be a negative impact on society in many different ways. People won't try hard for scholarships. If you want to go to a school outside the state, the tuition will rise and it will prevent people from getting college jobs because everyone will be able to go to college. You may want to think about having free state 